Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I'll continue a little more with the diamond grinding wheel adapter for the milling machine. I had a number of comments saying that really I should put a flat on the spindle to prevent the grub screws damaging the spindle so I decided to do that and also I thought I'd test it out on a piece of steel. So I had this piece of flat steel, set the diamond wheel on the top and just run it along the top to see whether it would cut and what sort of finish I'd get. So let's go to the workshop and see how we do it. This is the spindle we made last week. This is my diamond wheel. The actual diamond part is this brown part which goes all around the outside and it's, this one's about a quarter of an inch thick. So obviously I don't want to crack this or damage this. So to press the spindle in I'll put a socket on the inside and press use the vice to press the rod in. That's home. This part's a standard part which is for the warden tool and cutter grinder. So what I'll do is I'll put a grub screw in to mark the shaft and then I can put a flat on the shaft so there's no damage from further grub screws. So I've just put the grub screw in the side hole, just tighten it up onto the shaft. I'll remove the grub screw, remove the shaft and then see if it's made a mark. So this cap head goes through and pushes the, sh the shaft out. You can see the slot should line up with that and the grub screw on the opposite side. The one that goes in the slot is this scrub screw which has a, a key on the end to stop the shaft twisting. And the one on the other side should just be there which has a grub screw with a flat bottom. So I'll just mill a flat along this side here so the grub screw can touch onto there. I've just put two red marks each side of the mark where the grub screw was touching and I want to put a flat on between these two marks. The way I've set this up is on this side we've got the slot that we machined last time so I'm just putting that on top of a parallel strip so that the slot is between the parallel and that sets it square that way and then just close the jaws ready to machine flat on between these two marks.
that should be enough just to hold the grub screw. I fitted the spindle in the end, put the two grub screws in, held it in a collet so that should run reasonably through. Now if I want to I can use the cup wheel that came with the grinding machine that's it it's got the same adapter the same size rod on the end uh, this is just a plastic fan that helps divert the grit and I could put that in if I wanted to use a grinding wheel Okay, I've put a piece of steel in the vise. I've started the wheel off. But before I touch the wheel onto the workpiece, I need to put some guards around this because I'm not sure whether this wheel will shatter and everybody gets a bit or whether it will do the job without breaking. So the first thing I want to do is put the milling guard on just to prevent any pieces flying around the workshop. I'm just lowering the wheel slowly. It's about a millimetre off. It's just touching now. I can't see any grinding sparks coming off. But it is taking a very fine layer of material off. So it's ground this part here, nice finish. You can see, just lifted that off there. Good finish and it's flattened it. This is all knocked and bumped. So we've turned the milling machine into a grinding machine. Um, obviously you do get grit so now I'll have to clean this down but the the grit is really very fine. It's not like a grinding wheel where you get um, It's more like a lapping paste. So now it's time to clean down. That's the arbor. And it was fitted in a 10mm ER20 collet. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.